seems that I can't go more than a week without trying to do something to my new truck. So I ended up ripping off my tow hooks at, around the bottom and I wanted to, you know, spiff them up a little bit, refurbish them because, I mean, they're tow hooks. So A, they have a very prominent feature in the front of my truck and B, if they get rusty and gross up here in the, you know, northeastern New England winter, uh, they're going to break. That's one of those things I didn't want to happen. I didn't want to be driving in a snowstorm or, you know, off doing a shenanigan and, you know, drive into a ditch and then have to be towed out and one of my tow hook snaps. That could, A, be bad for me because I could be stuck and B, it could be bad for somebody who's pulling me out because they could get whipped with the tow hook. And all in all, that just didn't seem like a safe idea. So everybody's been telling me, why didn't you just, you know, tape off the bumper and just repaint them on there if you wanted a different look? Well, yes, I wanted a different look, but I also didn't want to half-ass it. I wanted to do a good job on it. I ended up yesterday, I left my camera at home, so I just did it without. I took the hooks off. I ground down all of the slag and rust and grossness off of it. Got it fairly clean it's not professionally done but hey it's gonna look good it's gonna be painted and it's gonna cover up every little you know rusty spot so if the time comes where I unfortunately do have to be towed out of something I can and I don't have to worry about it so it's gonna be a plus I'm on my way now to get a big old cup of white girl because I'm I'm a white girl I need my coffee and not just like a black simple coffee craving Dunkin Donuts coffee because there's no Starbucks near me because it's the Northeast. So we're gonna have uh, my coffee for the morning. Then I have to run to advance, grab a can of color match paint so I can paint my hooks today at work. So yeah, today's gonna be a mildly interesting day. Maybe tonight or tomorrow, I'll do like a little instruction on how to put them back on. So to quickly summarize, because my phone's gonna die, I found a similar color match to the color of my truck. I'm gonna paint the tow hooks this color because I soon want to get the chrome bumper as a final match to match the same color. So my phone's gonna die, I'm gonna let this charge and it'll get paint. So this is what it looks like now. It has three coats of primer, which is just enough. This part here scuffed up as best as I could, sanded it down to get most of it off, but a lot of it just wasn't gonna come off. So yeah, I'm gonna paint it now with the perfect match. It's just meant for a Ford. It's kind of blurry, it looks like. Meant for Ford. It's kind of just a simple maroon. So we're gonna paint this up and let it dry. So this is after one. So it's kind of not all the way there, but it's good enough to where it's on there. If you're wondering about this little ghetto contraption, I want it to be able to hit every little bit without having to flip and turn and move. So I just used a simple bungee cord. It holds it right on and just hang it from anything. And like here, I have just a simple little hook hanging from a shopping cart, an old shopping cart we're going to scrap. Just kind of got it on there. It's just enough to where you can hit everything. When you want to use it, you just pick it up and then you just spritz it from there. So that's how we're going to do this and we'll check back in after a couple more coats. Right, so right now we are three coats deep and it's actually a lot better than I thought it would be. I was a real little worried that it was going to come out and be too red, but it turned out to be a nice, dark, kind of almost shiny uh, maroon. So I'm quite happy with that. That's one. This is the other hook here making it two. Um, I'm pretty impressed. I'm quite surprised that a rattle can company could nail it this good. So probably gonna give it two more coats and then got a cone of Clyron, uh, Krylon clear here. So we'll get it done. And then later tonight after work, I'll show you how to put them in. So this right here is four and a half coats of just paint. It's kind of dry. It's a little tacky at the moment. It looks really good. I'm really, really happy that it came out darker than it should. And this, I just gave one coat of clear for now. As you can see, kind of down here, it's got more shine on it. Bird there. Um, overall, I'm really happy with it. So, it's not going to help too much. But it's got the nice, deep red shine in mixed with the maroon. And even on here, you can still see some of the shine, but hopefully with a clear, it'll bring it out a lot more. So 
I'm gonna do probably two coats of clear and let it sit all night. These two birds are going nuts. What are you doing, birds? Crazy ass birds. Going nuts. But for clear, God, there's another one. It's scaring me. Uh, for clear, I'm just using the Krylon Color Master. Just a nice coat of clear. Cover everything up and make it looking good. So give it a few more coats of clear and then I'll check back in after. So it's the next day. Mother Nature decided she doesn't want me to film today. So this might be a three day long video. But I'm going to grab the uh, hooks and show you the final product. Right in here is where the hook goes. And underneath here, there's a little frame that's right up there. And it bolts two bolts into there. So Mother Nature decided to stop for a little bit. And now I can give it just a nice overall look in the sunlight. It looks very good. I'm very happy with the way that these came out. And compared to my truck... Very similar. A little bit lighter, but it's a tow hook. I don't really care. So, I'm going to try and put these on. As I mentioned before in the last clip, it's two bolts. One here and one here. And it basically say my truck is facing towards the garage right now. It faces, faces this way. And there's two bolts that go into the frame. One here, one here. Same thing with this side. Here and here. And they just bolt right in. The part that I don't know about is trying to get the nut to fit perfectly to where I can bolt them in. So this is going to be a learning process. So as I mentioned before, in here there's a little nut that I thought I honestly lost, but I didn't. So I'm quite happy. So there's in here and here. What you have to do is if you can find the bolt, there you go. Take the bolt and it threads right into there. Now the tricky part is going to be to get it to thread. As you can see, it's an older bolt. I did not use newer bolts. The hard part is going to try and get it to thread without losing the bolt on either side. So this could be quite interesting. I might need to call for reinforcements, but we'll see how this goes. pretty pleased with the way that these came out. They were before all rusted and gross and cracked. Now they're not. They're sturdy. They're pretty well on there. I'm quite happy with it. Um, aside from my truck being incredibly dirty and needs a bath, uh, I'm pretty pleased with the way that it came out. So if you found this helpful or liked it at all, please click the thumbs up. Uh, comment down below if you think I should do anything to my truck. I have a few ideas what I want to do here's a hint give your profile a couple things I want to do but it's gonna take time to get money for it but we'll see so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed